Good morning, everyone. We just finished a delicious breakfast at Trev Cafe. We all got Nutella stuffed croissants. So good. They were delicious. And they were only a euro 50 and they were really they big. Were really so good. that was a really good deal. Yeah. And now we are walking in the shade. It's nice and chilly. <laughs> But well, we are on our way to go see the Chevy Fountain. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I did not expect this. So Janine said left hand over your right shoulder, right? Think of your wish. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we are off to see the Pantheon. Okay, so we know this isn't the Pantheon, but it was on the way, and this is just such an impressive building. How could we not stop here? While we made it to the Pantheon, and there's this long queue to get in here, we're hoping it's not like the Colosseum where we had to pre-reserve a spot. But I think we just hopefully stand in line, show them our COVID pass, and then we're allowed to go in. We just came from the Pantheon. It was absolutely stunning. All of the details on the inside, like I just could stare at it for so many hours. It only took us under 10 minutes to get in and it was a free entrance. So definitely worth to go see the inside, not just the outside, but now we've made our way to Piazza Navona, which seems really, really big. There's three fountains here. So I'm sure we're just gonna walk around. We actually have no clue what we're looking at, but this building and whole square is absolutely stunning. Janine also just shared that this sculpture, which I thought for sure was a fish, actually represents a dolphin, so abstract, I guess. So we walked along the river and made our way to this really nice old pedestrian bridge that leads us straight to the Castle St. Angelo. Alright, so we just wandered around the castle, listened to some live music that was super beautiful. Also, we just wanted to share our impressions on Rome so far, and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful, really blew me away how much space there is. I thought it would be a lot closer together, mm -hmm. but it's very open and airy and all of the buildings are so beautiful. I'm just in awe all the time. A lot of the buildings have really detailed like carvings and sculptures to them and everything. Yeah, like Narissa said, it's just so spread out and big and really grand and there's still lots of green spaces, which is really, really nice. Yeah. We only found like 
one park in Napoli that was kind of close to the area that we were in, but there's so many to choose from in Rome. Definitely take advantage of the metro system because like we're at least walking half an hour to each like different area, I would say. Yeah, but we have good weather, so of course we're gonna walk. Yeah, there's no icy wind like <laughs> yesterday, so today is a beautiful day to get out and explore. This afternoon, we just hung out, chilled in our hostel a little bit, went to a cafe to just change the scenery. And now <laughs> we are all hungry. Janine found a really yummy vegan burger place that we are gonna go for dinner. Oh my gosh, that's yellow. <laughs> what? Wow, that's right. The potatoes look so good. They look like so good. So all of us got the funky burger. It is a chickpea burger with lettuce, tomatoes, mayo, ketchup. Um, not sure what the yellow bun is made with but it looks really good. And then Janine and I got fries with ours. I don't even know. It's pretty it yellow. Is. It is pretty yellow. But it's like glowing in the video. <laughs> that is really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? The chickpea patty has like a whole bunch of spices in it. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, really, really yummy. How was it? So delicious, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I want three more. Okay, we just got back to the hostel. Supper was so good. And I know we've only been here for like, what, over a week? Yeah. Yeah, just over a week, but it was good to get something other than pasta and pizza in our stomachs. We've been having a lot of that recently, and I'm sure we'll be having a lot of it again in the future. So it was nice to have a burger. Yeah, it was super delicious too, so. Yeah, highly recommend you go there, especially if you're vegetarian or vegan. It's a vegan friendly. Vegan, yeah. Vegan friendly place too, so really, really good and only like 10 minutes away from our hostel. So this is where we're gonna leave you guys. We hope you guys like the video and we'll see you guys next time. From the Pantheon. Oh, we just came from the Pantheon. Pantheon. This looks like those burgers off of SpongeBob. Yeah, no? <laughs> the Krabby Patty.